Today, Cruise Man's Garage is at Dream Machines of Texas, where we're going to replace the halogen headlights on this 2013 Kawasaki Concourse with some brand new plug-and-play LEDs from Pathfinder LED. Now, we're also going to replace those position lights with some new LEDs as well. Before we get started, place the bike on the center stand. To replace the position lights on the Kawasaki, we need to remove this plastic panel that's underneath the front of the fairing. It looks like this once it's removed. The panel is held in place with two plastic pins at the rear and two at the front. You can remove these pins by simply pushing in on the center till you hear a click and then use your thumb to pull out the pins. With the panel removed, you'll now be able to see the two lights installed in the fairing. There's a gray rubber base, and if you pull firmly on that, you'll be able to remove these lights as shown. The bulbs simply pull out from the bulb holder, and then you can insert the LED in their place. After reinstalling the new LEDs, you can see the difference in brightness between the old position lights. When you reinstall the panel, you'll need to reset these plastic pins as shown. You push in from the bottom and pop the top of it back out. Then when you reinsert the panel, you put the pin in place and then push up on the center to relock the pin. The Pathfinder LED system consists of an LED, the LED driver, and a connector between the driver and the LED itself. Finally, there's a plug that connects the LED system to your motorcycle. If you look down inside the fairing, next to the front forks, you'll see the headlights. You'll notice a rubber seal and also an electrical plug. You can turn the handlebars to give yourself more room to work. You should be able to grip this plug and pull it firmly out to release it from the back of the bulb. Here you can see the back of the bulb with the plug removed. You can pull on these two rubber tabs to remove the seal, as shown. Here you can see the back of the headlight bulb with the seal removed. Notice the spring clip that holds the bulb in place. You'll need to release this spring clip by pushing in and down at the same time on the tab as shown. Here you can see how the spring clip swings out of the way so that you can remove the bulb. On one of the LEDs, locate the LED driver connector and unscrew it so that you can separate the two halves of the connector. Next, unscrew the base from one of the LEDs and remove it. Now you can install the LED where you removed the headlight bulb and replace the spring clip to hold it into place. You can fish the wire through the opening in the rubber seal and reinstall it. Now you're ready to replace the LED base by screwing it into place. Attach the LED driver by screwing the two halves of the connector back together. Remember that plug you removed at the beginning? Well, that's going to attach to the very end of the LED wiring harness. We need to mount the LED driver in an out-of-the-way place. Now, you could use double-sided mounting tape for a more permanent installation. I actually prefer these weatherproof, all-weather fasteners. Whichever you choose, we need to attach one side of the adhesive back to the underside of the LED driver. The LED driver can be mounted to the underside of the plastic side cowl. It's kind of up under on the back side of that plastic flange out of the way. Finally, make sure you can turn the handlebars freely with nothing hitting.